that buzz you here can only mean one thing. If you live or work in Manhattan's east side, you are getting closer and closer to real convenience, real choice. By now, you already know the benefits that will accompany Long Island Railroad service into Grand Central Terminal, drastically shortened commutes and up to 40 minutes a day of your own time back in your pocket. But where do we stand with the construction? Over the past year and a half, some pretty significant project milestones have been achieved and the work continues every day. Boy, does it ever. So here's a look at present day underground life, east side access style. Let's start on the Queen's side in the bustling below ground expanse known as the Q-tip. So named because, well, it looks like half a Q-tip from the air. The handle of the Q-tip extends outward from the mouth of the 63rd Street Tunnel. Currently standing in the bottom of the western end of the Q-tip excavation. We excavated this so we could launch the TBMs. These large cylinders above us are struts. They're used for support to hold the side walls in place when we excavate until the permanent walls go in. And over the next 12 to 18 months or so, Tess and Molina, two soft ground tunnel boring machines or TBMs named by local sixth graders, will work their way from the Q-tip to the LIRR's main line. Four tunnels will go about 10,000 feet total. Those are through soft ground with placing segments behind them. They will start in the Q-tip and then burrow out, daylight out into a trench, be disassembled, brought back to this end and launched again. We got two TBMs, they'll make four runs. There'll be four tracks total. There'll be three for normal service and one track will be a runaround track to take the trains out to be worked on. So while the soft tunnel TBMs are doing their thing under Sunnyside Yard, extensive preparations are being made to carve out this wall right behind me near the beginning of the Queen's Bell Mouth. It's only gonna be 100 feet of carving, but it will by far be the most expensive 100 feet of carving of the entire project. To the western end of the open cut, we need to excavate under Northern Boulevard to make the connection between the Queen's Tunnels and the Manhattan Tunnels. Currently, the Q and the N are in the elevated rail above Northern. Then there's Northern Boulevard. There's the E and the F that are below ground running through this same area. And we have to thread this tunnel through there. This part of the excavation is also in fill. So it's topsoil, it's loose. There's a lot of water in there. To facilitate mining that, we have to freeze it. To do that, we've bored a numerous amount of holes around the excavation. We will pump a chilled brine through there to freeze the ground, and then we'll slowly start excavating and supporting with shotcrete through that area. The total excavation will take a little over a year, and it's done very slow. There's several layers of holes that were drilled through for this excavation. The inner layer towards the excavation will be where the actual brine is pumped through for freezing the ground. Outside of that, there's another layer of pipes that are used for monitoring so we can tell when the ground is frozen solid enough and tell if the ground is moving once we start excavating. Once we get the ground frozen, then we will take it in three segments. You'll take a third of one side in a modified triangle uh, shape and you will mine it four to six feet at a time, completely shotcreted to support it, and then mine another four to six feet as you advance. Once that is done and the four tunnels are done on this end, you will have a clear shot from daylight in Sunnyside Yard all the way to Grand Central Terminal in Manhattan. We've currently completed all of the tunnel boring on the Manhattan side. Now we've connected the tunnels in the cavern area to form the actual station. Then we connected the top bores through drill and blast and road header to form the, the final profile for the arch and we shotcreted to smooth it out from the drill and blast and the road header. We placed the waterproofing, and the waterproofing goes on in several layers. Track to concourse level escalator shafts in 2010 and in 2011. And given what crews had to get through, the old shovel and pail routine wasn't gonna cut it. Once we got below those foundations, then we went to drill and blast. drilling the same type of pattern of holes, but using an explosive to, to remove the rock. The dynamite is placed in each one of those holes, and then it will be timed out in a systematic uh, timing from center out to pull the rock 
And when you're excavating underneath Manhattan's tall buildings, you have to make sure that the support beams you encounter are safe and sound throughout. And engineers are leaving nothing here to chance. These are uh, strain gauges that they're attached to these columns. And uh, by wires, we bring them to uh, other devices that we can actually monitor what's going on in the strain gauge, which is telling us what's going on in the beam. And while all the heavy lifting is going on, the design team has been busy finalizing interior finishes and other fine points that'll give the place its look and feel. While the civil work is still going on, such as excavations of the tunnels and the cavern area, uh, at the same time we've been working on finalizing the design for the equipment, such as the signal system, such as the ventilation system. And if you're building a place to last an eternity, now is the time to make sure you find materials with the right stuff. The floor material, the walls, the ceilings, so on and so forth. We want to make sure that while it's uh, cosmetically appealing and acceptable to our customers, um, but also at the same time is maintainable because we have to make them clean, we have to keep them clean, and we have to make sure that we can repair them if something happens. The way we have designed the cavern is that uh, when our customers get off the train, they will be either at the upper level or the lower level. We're going to have eight tracks, four on the upper level, four on the lower level. And we have a mezzanine level in between. So depending on what floor they get off uh, the train, our customers can take the escalators or the elevator to go to the mezzanine level. And from there, they can choose uh, which escalator banks to take to go up to the concourse level. This is uh, the most complex project I've ever worked on in 23 years. I've been underground all across the United States, and it's just the most complex as far as having to work under some of the most expensive real estate in the world and the amount of excavation that we were doing and having to come back out from the excavation so far with all of the muck and all the material. We've got uh, a little over a thousand people working on this project directly under Grand Central Terminal and nobody, I've talked to quite a few people in downtown Manhattan and nobody realizes we're even there. <laughs>